There once was a ship that put to sea, the name of the ship was the Bully of Tea. The winds blew up her bird up turn up below my bully boy's bow. Surely the one man come in the bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the time is done, I'll take her leave and go. Nice. Ooh, slice. Slice. Okay. Stop. You're the worst. It All will right. never stop. I'm in bit lock. When we're in... All right, so when we last left our heroes of the Wild Sea, they were on the uh, the spit of... Three masks. Three masks. Three masks. Um, the, little, map town. The, the little spit of land that I have here. Um, and we had been... We kind of spread out a little bit. Um, Charybdis, our... Or hacker, uh, ironbound hacker. Iron hacker, was uh, weirdly clothes shopping. And then I went people watching in the um, smokehouse. And then I got <clears throat> unfortunately interacted with with um by the Celicray. Yeah, I don't know, what's his name? Uh, Sarek. Sarek. Tochiaska to be fair, was that hearts. guy. Did you really talk to him though, or did he kind of like? Yeah, he just approached and we ended there. Uh, no, you guys sat down and like he like sat. He fought. He came over and he sat with you. Yeah. Yeah, and then that was where we sort of stopped. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm pretty let's... sure he said something, but I don't remember what he said. So and we're not going back in the report. Spelunking. Spelunking. Spelunking is honestly such a great word, and people should use it more often. How have you been, Charybdis, my good friend? White lies. Fine. He's kind of like, I, I, I can't, I'm not going to do the voice, but he's basically, like, he, every word is being spoken by 10,000 mouths, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, are you? No, don't do that. That's don't awful. Like, that voice is... Not right. Deeply disturbing. It's more of a. It's, Thank it, you. I practice. I want you to imagine like if the sound of the conversation was being created by like the buzzing of wings, you like collectively. Totally add in a voice filter at the end while you're editing. That totally won't slow down the editing process. At all. In any know. case, um, my good friend, we'll do it like that. We'll get buzzy. My good friend. Right, right, right. I'm surprised to see you here. What brings you to? Three masks. Why are we here? I don't know. I don't remember. So. You were just traveling here. We were just traveling here. I am trying to get us a deal to, like, go hunt down this library ship. <laughs> Zoe is trying to find maps to more ancient ruins because there's a mythical ancient ruin. You're here for close. Nearby. And we, but we were just traveling through is what you should say. We're just... I, I, I'm not doing the sign language because I would get most deaf by deaf people around the world. We're just mm -hmm. passing through. We're, we're, we're just passing. Through. Interesting. Are you with a ship? I realize it's a bit of a loaded question. Are you? Fine ship. Are you on a? Are you on a crew? <laughs> yes. Oh. I, I literally thought he was gonna say, "Are you on a crab?" <laughs> yeah. How did you know? And what is your crew doing for business these days? I have a feeling uh, my. Captain would not want me to answer that. What are we doing for business? Very well. Well, if you're looking for any business, you know I like to move uh, interesting goods. I've seen an increase in certain artifacts the last few months. Mm -hmm. if, you have any, if you have any need to or have any desire or interest in moving such things, I've somewhat saturated the market. Do you still have my artifacts? Oh, that's extremely valuable. I hardly even think of it as yours anymore. I use it so constantly. It well, is one of the best trades I think I ever met, and I hope that you are seeing the same value out of our exchange as I saw from it. You took traded, traded an exchange of services and goods. I got a good, you got a service. My freedom. Yes. The service I provided was bringing you to freedom. And you are, again, so very welcome for engaging. Oh, 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 die. <laughs> I can't take credit for it since really you made it happen with your inestimable trade. I just 
check the it's why i'm so fond of doing business with you that last exchange was so profitable i think for both of us that i think we have made two deals in, in the last 20 years what are you talking about yes but it was so good that i would always be interested in engaging in such again if the opportunity presents itself simply keep me in mind my good fellow oh, simply Jesus. keep me in mind what do we do for our job again what is our job did we did we pathfind no we um rescue rescue no no you sort of explore yeah. you just you don't necessarily have we get calling as such at this point we, we do what we do yeah we, we vibe zoe yes. i think yeah. you were going to go digging for like uh -huh. some charts and stuff and see if you can figure out where the hanging manor was is that right with the uh remember your your map maker your cartographer friend. friend the big old chip inside of the very small building yeah uh she went there already yeah i know you went there but you were she was going to like you guys were going to get to work on all of that right yeah. okay so what i'd like you to do is do a bit of digging for me on like researching this thing and seeing if you seeing if you can find will she use dell for that will no she... dell wouldn't really be dell was like the physical physically going down into it so you're doing research essentially with this great library of charts and information and that sort of thing what would you use to do that can you put together a dice pool for me? Do you remember how to do that? No. Okay. On your character sheet, you have, first of all, let's begin with your edges. Here, I'll put your edges here on my sheet so I can see them. So first of all, you would look at the edges that you have and see which one of them makes the most sense for doing the research. You have grace, sharps, and tides. Sharps, probably. Well, on this lovely little colored sheet here, thing oh, that I gave you, there's a breakdown of the edges. Um, grace is for elegance and precision and agility, so that probably doesn't apply. Sharps is logic, wit, and planning, and tides is exploration, learning, and lore. Yeah, I was right. I. You said sharp. Yes, I said sharps. You can certainly make the argument that sharps would work. Tides also totally makes sense because you're like digging up lore and you're doing doing it for the purpose of exploration. So tides would also make sense. Does that make sense? Does you understand what I'm saying? I'm looking for some something for research purposes in and, and that's exactly what sharps is. That's pretty much exactly what sharps is. Logic, wit, and planning? Sure. You're making plans. That's fine. Go ahead. So that's one dice. That gives you a plus one. And then you gotta look at a skill that would make the most sense to use for you see your you see your character sheet? Uh-huh. I can look at I have your sheet up here. This is a very scary map. What's that? Study, probably. Uh, yeah. Probably What's in the description over in the sheet is study. Discover, record, interpret, decipher, determine patterns and flaws. So, yeah. I think that would absolutely make sense. So, that's one for edges. And what's your study at? I don't have that. It's Two? Okay. So, that gives you a total of three dice. And because you've made a pretty good uh, connection here with uh our good our good friend the uh what was her name old spar elizabeth old spar elizabeth old spar elizabeth so she had a good connection here i will give you an extra dice for advantage in that do you want to use a whisper and i don't want to okay no, 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 no. i don't know how i would what are your whispers vibrant riot and a spit on the rise i don't know how yeah well, a, spit riot. On the, a spit on the rise would what's vibrant vibrant what Riot. Vibrant riot. Probably not. But a spit on the rise would make sense if it was like this ruin had like sunk below the thrash and now had risen back up. Um you could you could make that argument or something like that. So that I mean, I, that I could work, but you don't want to worry about it, don't worry about uh, it. I wasn't I wasn't necessarily thinking um I wanted to find the like that my, finding the what you might call it the the haunted manor flying banner hanging manor manor is like a haunted mansion banner hanging planner the, no the... I said haunted manor hanging planner not hanging planner hanging banner that's, that's what I said yeah still wrong <laughs> funny enough. <laughs> You take a great pride in me. I was correct. kind of looking for more uncharted territories that we could maybe explore, but you know. She was talking about the uh, ha the hanging manor, so um, say let's take a look at that initially here. And yeah, because she was, we were hopefully gonna get. Don't you have a new thing that's a map of um, 
possible ancient settlements. Not that's not the word for it. Ruins. Yeah, yeah, ruins. That's I'm the pretty word. sure she gave it to me. Yeah. Mm hmm. Check your sheet. Did it should be on there. there. Should be under charts. Annotated map. Annotated map. So yes, and, uh, which means I'm also kind of looking for a map, but that wouldn't make sense. Area of uncharted waters. Should I say uncharted trees? Uncharted locations. How about uncharted that? Uncharted locations, because we are a navigation ship. Yeah. For right now, let's take that. So um, that's one for your edge, two for your skill, and one for advantage from. That's four to know, guys. From Elizabeth. Let's see. One, six, six, five. Nice. Double so, sixes. Yeah. So if you look at your, take a look at the green side here with the uh, pocket, this one, pocket box. He's okay. sleeping on a watch. Incredible. Um, so you'll see here, there's two things that apply to this. You look at, you always just look at your highest dice. Six. That hasn't been cut. And that's the six. So that's a triumph. Complete success. No drawbacks, mark or clear a box on track. And doubles is a twist. So add a small, potentially useful twist suggested by any player. Firefly has a final say. So um, the six is pretty easy. You get, she, she said, well, the thing is with the manor is its location was very well known for a long period of time. It was on all the charts. People have disregarded those charts because for years now, almost a generation, they, it, when people head there, they don't see it. But I think if there was that root quake, quake that happened about a about a month mm -hmm. ago, I think it probably exposed the manor again. It wouldn't have moved. I mean, the trees don't move. The manor doesn't shift. That wouldn't make any sense. So it's probably right. And she hands you. She just pulls out this kind of older, you know, thing, and it's probably right here. And she gives you, you know, a scribbled kind of chart for the thing. That's probably going to make it a really pretty. Quick little trip to get over there, a couple days tops to get to the hanging man. I haven't heard about I hadn't heard about this other ship being missing, this one this one arm scissor, but I mean they're a library ship. Uh the manor was meant to be pristine for years, so it's possible that they're there. I'd go there. What's that? Was it ever um and I'm asking Elizabeth here? What? What's that? Lisbon. Lisbeth. I was wrong. We were both wrong. What were you saying, Zoe? I'll ask the lady here. Um, did anybody ever like write down or figure out like the kind of stuff that was in the manor? Like, did they ever go inside? Did um, there's inside? there's some um there's some notes about it, but I don't think it was ever completely looted out or anything like that. So, I think that. Uh, there, it's probably, and if no one's discovered it yet, it's, it's quite possible that it's, there's still treasure there. Ooh, I love treasure. So we have a twist. Oh, yeah. She got, she, she rolled so well. She got doubles. Um, she got it. So the doubles mean a twist. A twist usually means like some sort of, um, well, I mean, the way they describe it in here. As a small, potentially useful twist suggested by any player. And that usually means not me. And I there mean, could be. It like, feels like what you said about the ship possibly heading that way um, is, you know, accurate. Feels feels twisty. Feels twisty. Uh, you know, I'm I'm I, I you know I vaguely feel twisted. Uh, that wouldn't really be. Uh, I mean, it could be true. It could be that the twist is that it's the ship has def definitely discovered it on the that they. We could say sort of off camera, and we don't necessarily know this, but but we could say that the twist is that the one arm scissor definitely found the manor. Mm -hmm. Or at least was heading there. So it could be that. It could be that in digging through all this stuff, you find another chart to add to your inventory or even a whisper. More for my collection. So you could pick up a whisper. Oh my God. A whisper being more for my collection is so good. I love my collection. I can't do the general grievance voice. I, because oh, he's I want to be like Kenobi. What was that? What was that? I want to find a whisper, but I don't know if there's any way that I can actively look around trying to find a whisper. Well, the the thing is, is that the twist kind of um, the way it works is that the the twist sort of takes care of you finding it. You find it as you're digging through all these other charts, sort of by accident. Mm -hmm. Like, can I find it? Um, so does that mean that the twist is not this? 
uh, the ship being? Right? Well, you, you, yeah, you would kind of need to pick. Oh. Which, oh, which, which, okay. which would you rather? I, I mean, I, I can do final say, but I, I mean, which would you rather? You want to make sure that the uh, ship is. I want to make sure that the ship is in the air. Okay. For Petrichor, see. I mean, it's not just for me, it's for all of us. We're all making money here. Or, hopefully. Hopefully. Or books. It's not very books, hard. money, same difference. It's not very hard to keep a chainsaw sharp. All right. Um, what were you doing with the, um, had you, were you trying to get any more information out of the, um, your ex-boyfriend? Not really. Um, I was just kind of checking to see what the deal with the ship was, and he told me that already. You know, and that people would probably be happy if we found it, and the ship itself might um, give a reward, or people people would pitch in to build a reward to find the ship. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he kind of answered my question. So I think uh, Corey would probably be heading back to the ship, um, because that and that is where she said to meet up. Um, and I'll head over there too because you know. Anything else that you heard uh, interesting about the town that you want to still check out? I should probably pick up my coat. Did right. you um, ah. trade, trade for that? I can't remember if you traded um, some salvage for that. Oh, yeah, I, I did. I got rid of my um, diffused shells. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. I, I, what, what was the cell crate name again? What was the what? Cell crate? Um, you need to keep asking me these difficult questions where I have to remember stuff. It's so hard to remember. Uh, Something Zarek Zarek. Let's just say Zarek. Right. Now. I sort of Zarek off. Uh huh. Like mid monologue. Like right. Well, this is all great. It's it's great catching up. Anyway, I've got a coat to pick up. I've got a coat to get pick up. I've got to get back to Anne. Very well. I I am the only one who like out of character. I am the only one who calls the ship Anne. Like nobody knows why. Anne. All right. Anne. Well, uh, by all means, uh, if you. Yeah. Are looking for work later, and you want to introduce me to the rest of your crew? I'd be happy to see what I can find. You'll probably find your way there eventually. Our I look forward to that hard. What's the name of your ship? Queen Grab's Revenge. Uh, do you want to know the name of the ship or the name of the ship? I think you gave me the answer I was looking for. <laughs> Although that was a very interesting way of asking a question. Fascinating. I mean, my captain calls her Queenie, but... I see. Well... In any case... My regards to your captain. I love being regarded. Right. And I just sort of um, speed walk out. I okay. accidentally bump into an ardent. <laughs> just a random one? Yes. Yes. So, the good news is... You're invasive species. Um that the a lot of this figuring out stuff uh accomplishing certain goals and things like that are usually built along tracks like there's a certain number of tracks like steps along a track that you have to like sort of check off boxes for mm -hmm. um to do things and if you're just heading out into the into the sea and saying let's just wander around out here around the spit in ever increasing circles until we figure out something that's interesting you're talking about a track that's nine or ten boxes long yeah um, if you're trying to go searching along the route that's known for the one arm scissor, you know, it's still five or six, yeah. right? Um, we have a specific destination. You have a specific destination, which makes the track of getting to the manor four. But we also have a map to get there. Does that make it no, shorter? No, that is what makes it shorter. Oh, okay. Four is shorter. Four is shorter? Yeah. Okay. I don't know my numbers. Um, I don't know my fruits. This is a very straight, short-ish journey to the hanging manor. I mean, it's short. It's still like you're in the Caribbean heading for another island. You know, it's still kind of a, a distant sort of thing. So, uh, Journey. 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 Did you ever watch The Sea Beast? Yes. Yeah. I thought you had. I don't like that question in this context. No, no. I just. Oh, God. I was trying to remember. I knew there was another oceanic. Yeah, I can understand how you probably wouldn't. This question makes me uncomfortable. Um. Okay. So for Have departure. You know one where there's giant leviathans everywhere, <laughs> and it's like an active problem for the entire plot of the. <laughs> no reason. I'm just asking. Have um, you ever heard a story about a 
all of the characters die a bloody death? No. Um, you never heard of the So, destination, you guys headed for the try to find the hanging manor? Yeah. All right. Um, any preparations that you need to do? You want to hire any other people? Anything like that? Um, Are you. Um, I was going to think, sorry. Um, yes, yes. I was going to ask the guy where the. The guy. Say more. There are many guys. There are so many guys. Groundbreaking. <laughs> the dude. <laughs> I like. Um, the guy. Specify a little more. The one who. Past the guy and the dude. <laughs> like the dock overseer? Yeah. What about him? I was gonna ask him where the scissor was last seen. Um, you already know. No, I don't. We know, we know, based on the twist, that it's. And based on what the lady said, that it's. Well, you don't know about the twist that it was, like, going to check out. Oh, I thought based on what, um... We have determined at some meta level that it decided to go to the thing. I thought the lady said, you know, it would probably be there. It would probably be there, but we're determining at a meta level that that, that that's actually... We're deciding that that supposition is true. You've heard a rumor, the rumor is true. That's what the twist is. The twist is... But That's... what I'm saying is that the lady in the map shop said it it's probably there. Is sure. that not enough information? Um, she could say that and be wrong. Okay. The twist is she said it and we know she's right. Okay. At the audience level. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or whatever. Um, you you know this is true for sure. Whereas you could get there and just it might me. not be there because she could just be wrong. I do not the guy. Oh, so what were you asking the guy? Uh, where was the scissor last? Seen? Well, the scissor was last seen. Like they usually it takes like several weeks to get from port to port, and about a month ago they were seen at the previous. Like they have a schedule that they keep going from spit to spit, and they were at the previous one about a month ago. They should have been here already. That was the last place that they were seen. Seen for sure was. A few days after the root quake, they were at one of the other spits. Um, so they didn't die in the root quake. No, they were seen after the root quake. Uh, I don't know much more about it. I mean, I used to be, a, I actually used to crew the ship, but it was years ago. Karshaw might know m- more. Hmm? Karshaw? Who's Karshaw? Yeah, his sister actually does crew on the ship these days, so he might know more. Where is he located? He's one of the. Um, uh, he guards the mushroom farm. He's one of the guards for the mushroom farm, and this time of day, he'd probably be down there guarding the mushroom farm. Emma, I'm coming with you. For we'll have to see the Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Mushrooms. The Wizard of Mushrooms. Are you okay? No, by the by the time. By Who's the, going? I think Me. we're all going. You, you have to the... like. You have to like sprint to catch up. By the time he says. By the time he says over by the mushroom fire, I am, I am left. I have left. I am okay, left. so if you I look am. at if you look at the actual picture on the roll twenty, this is actually pretty well done here. At least it's reasonably. So at the docks where you guys have probably docked, which is right here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's you see how it comes back onto the onto the spit, but there's also these stairs off to the side that go down and wind down the side of the and like yes. if you see switch back switch back stairs that go down a cliff face or something like that. These do that, but they go down below the level of the thrash and actually go underneath the spit. Very cool. Okay. So what has been done underneath there? I believe it, if you recall, there was like there's sort of a dinghy farm underneath there. Mm-hmm. They've basically taken a bunch of wreckage and other stuff, and it's secured in a hanging platform fashion, like the world's largest wood hammock hanging underneath the spit down in the... It's it's below the level of the thrash, so it's shadowed. Um, and then they filled all of these, or covered all of these platforms with dirt so that they could plant mushrooms there. Well, this is... Um, Obviously, kind of a... Now, I'm not very well versed in safety regulations, but... That's it. That's the joke. That's the joke? Okay. Um, He... uh, So, yeah, there's a... um, The mushroom farm guards sit on a platform that is hanging also from the spit, but is up above the level of the mushroom so it's up it's it's kind of like a watchtower except it's not a tower it's it's just this extra platform that's up there and then they have a um bolt la- launcher like sort of a ballista mm-hmm. up bolt. there like you know big big crossbow all right um that they use to protect it from stuff whatever comes after mushrooms yeah. 
Uh, yeah, we have basically. Um, where? So you... there's mushrooms. As far as the eye can see, lots of different clusters and stuff. What were where, you looking? Where, where do you? This guy, um, you do see somebody up on the platform as you come down there. Um, he's you know sort of scanning the area and everything like that. Um, what are you doing? Are you checking out the mushrooms or checking out this guy or what are you doing? All right, that's the real question is is he a mushroom man? No, he is not. That's yeah. far enough. This he's back there. What can I do for you? He's not pointing the ballista at you, but he's not pointing no. it very far away from you. Do you have a sister? Yes. Where does she work by chance? She works on the one armed scissor. I'm very worried about her. She hasn't been back. We used to be joined. He's um so I should give you a little uh Yeah, I'm it's so confused. He is a Celecrae. Um, skin's made from canvas and sackcloth, so he's more of a walking, uh... Canvas? Moth? Thing? Comical scarecrow. Things. So his head's just kind of like, it's, it's, it's like burlap sack slash sailcloth canvas. Kind type of, of like what Sean dressed up for Halloween. Oh. Yeah, you took that and filled it with spiders, sure. Um, bulbous head area that wiggles and shifts occasionally. Um, oh. Oh. no, we used to be... <laughs> Let me just come down. I don't like shouting. It's difficult. And he kind of comes go along. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah, does this work? Is the baseline head? Is it? He's more burlap-y. He's more burlap. It's really, let's go with Scarecrow kind of a thing. Dad. Yes. No, not like that. He's better than that. More stiff. Um, not, not a group of ants killed your dad and now and are piloting his body around. Yeah. No, my sister's name uh, is uh, my sister's name is Techeves. We used to share the same skin, and then Ta-da. when when the skin came apart, we separated and became two individuals. It's fairly unique. It doesn't always happen, but we're very close because of that. Once we were one person, and now we are two. And I miss her. I'm very worried. She was meant to be here. I was hoping to see her, and she hasn't been. And I'm really. Is there anything? Do you need? Why are you asking? Are Are you looking for the ship? Yes, actually, me and my crew are going near where the ship was told to be last sighted. So. Are you well staffed? Do you do you have the crew that you need for that? It's very dangerous out there on the waves, and I'm a I'm a handy I'm a I'm a handy fellow with a with a with a deck gun. I'm happy to if you need any help or anything. I'm I'm happy to come along and. And do what I can. Anything to help by my sister, please. You bad boy. We got to let her come. Is it like, I don't mean to say this, like, to be rude, but is it like a temporary job, or would he stay with us? Temporary. Okay. Temporary. But if, you, you, you might want he to just, stay. He just wants to come with us and help find a sister. Do we have to pay him? You should ask him that. Um, what would you take in payment? That is if you find my sister, him. we don't need to discuss payment. I'll probably owe you. Aw, stop it. Let this poor boy come with us. What if you um, assume he is We man? will be, we'll, we are happy to take you along to help find your sister. Okay, excellent. With um, plenty of room. Plenty. Are you good? Just random question. Are you good with crabs? What do you feel about crabs? <laughs> Not actually. So why, yeah, that, like that's the end of the scene. You guys are walking. Oh, by the way, how do you feel about crabs? Why do you ask? And then the cut to well, smash cut to you guys standing in front of the ship and him going, oh, well then. I didn't come with, I'm just sitting on um, Anne's forehead. Don't worry, you're going to have the best sleep of your life. What? What? No, he, him. Best sleep of your life. He just gives us. <laughs> Lots of go with they, for obvious reasons. They're, yeah. actually, using, they're actually using the plural <laughs> pronoun. But in this gen- case... Gen- gender identity is very important here on Walsy. What are you, plural? Yes! I am 10,000 spiders and a fake... For the last time, our pronouns are they them. Not because we are non-binary, but we tell we are literally 10,000 people. Spiders. 10,000 people. Okay, um, yeah, he'll, he'll happily come along. He's a, like I said, he's a dab hand with a, with a deck gun. He's gotten lots of... And we have something like a deck gun, right? We have some sort of... Uh, Where's the ship? Sword? ship we shooter. have ship the right there. Viper Fang. Viper Fang. Looking thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's a Viper. 
tang. Viper's tooth. Viper's tooth. I was very close. Viper's tooth. Do you know where the ship is? We were told that it was last sighted at like a nearby at like a nearby spit, yeah. Spit and and or near the hangman. That's appropriate, Dad. Mm hmm Yeah. All right. So let's talk about um journeys and departures and stuff. All right. When you go on a journey, take a look at the So when you go on a journey, so now what we need to do is figure out stations. All right. For optimal operation of a ship, certain stations have to be manned. But there are other positions a crew member can keep that allow them particular options or opportunities during a journey. We'll keep the details brief here and delve into them when relevant over the next few pages. But there are two that are absolutely essential. Somebody needs to be at the helm controlling the ship's speed and direction for this first phase out. On watch is the other essential one where you roll to see what the ship is about to encounter as the journey progresses. Oh uh, yeah, that's my entire job. Okay. I feel um, like that's also my job, though, because I can fly. Well, lots of people can be on... Yeah, you could do... Everybody... You guys can all do any of these roles, and it makes sense. There's lots of ways or reasons for you guys to all have done them. The other roles that are not essential but are optional is tending the engine, where you have the option to um, give it extra fuel for a boost, burst of speed or, or coax oh, yeah, it. Yeah, one of them speed. just takes a nap. Someone sneaks <laughs> a nice little nap. Give it all the power you have. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. By the way, so somebody conks him over the head with the bat. I am so tired. Um, tending the engine. Right away, sir. Conk. Cartographizing. You keep a lookout for landmarks and distinctive places, using them to create a new chart as you travel the ocean waves. That's cool. Yeah. That's like the entire reason I went into the card shop. Thing. Yep. Sure, sure. So if you want to cartographize, that's fine. But then these two have to be the ones doing the at the helm and on watch thing. And finally, um, watching the weather. When you watch the weather, you can gain some idea of what future weather conditions will be like based on your current meteorological and environmental assessments. So nobody here is smart enough. To anybody who's not doing a particular station is assumed to just be busying themselves with other tasks around the ship or doing whatever. I want to take so. watch. I want to be the what's my call it? You want to take watch? Uh, who's navigating then? Who's who's at the helm? It's okay, Kaylee. I'll be at the helm because she's it is my ship after. Sean, do you want to just be messing about or tending the engine? Take whispering sweet nothings to the glowing cocoon. <laughs> Which we have. Okay. Sitting on the top of the crab's head. It's talking to the sh talking to the crab. So um, you're doing great, sweetie. No, I'm just having a conversation. All right, so there's two, there's two tracks that we're going to worry about for this one, and one is one is the progress track, um, which is a track you need to fill to get where you're going, and the other one is the risk track. If the risk track fills before the progress track fills... We got problems. We got problems. Yeah. All right, so at the helm. Who's at the helm? Kaylee. Kaylee. Are we going to... So there's three options you have here for how you're going to proceed as you depart from the spit. Cut a path. Travel at a decent speed, safely. So decent speed, lots of time to spot what's coming up, that kind of thing. Forge ahead, swift, but not particularly subtle passage. You get to mark two progress boxes, but when the watch roll is made, the ship usually blunders into whatever is spotted before it's able to. Spot. With, with the other one, it's like, hey, the watch says, hey, there's something up ahead. And you can go, let's just not and go around. Mm -hmm. with, when you're going full speed, it's like, look at an iceberg. Not an iceberg, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, it's, yeah. you're going to be in it before you. Freeberg. Freeberg. Stop. Um, and we're going to assume <laughs> you're not going to start out your journey by dropping anchor. So we'll just. No. Yeah. So. All, all speed forward, full, full steam ahead, or um, taking it, taking it moderately. I think we're moderate. Yeah. There, we're not running. There's no reason to really uh, aggressively. I mean, yes, these people are missing, but also they, you know, ship, and we know where we're going, so there's no reason to rush. What is the guy doing? Meanwhile, we just hired. He's just sitting on the deck. He's exploring. Random, randomly. <sighs> Looks over to see me. What language do you think Are you are you on watch then, Zoe? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Are you whistling yourself up? Can I see your sheet, please? I can't remember if you need to mark that whistle to make yourself to summon the wind. So you have oh, just play it to bring favorable winds. Cool. Alright, so you can gale flute yourself up into the sky to see stuff. Um that's pretty cool. 
So if you decide to make, so one player, as one player is deciding which options to pick from the helm, another should be putting their character on watch. When it's your watch, you decide whether you're going to spend some of your resources to make a discovery or leave things up to chance and make a watch roll. You can make something happen. Alternately, you can just be on watch and say, hey, I'm just gonna roll and see what happens. What do I see? And you don't have to use any resources for that. You just roll. Do I just roll? You don't roll a stat, you just roll a d6. Just a dice. Mm-hmm. It's almost like he said it three times. Five. Okay. When you are, you got a five? Mm-hmm. All right. Roll me another d6 for me. Six. Okay. You see on watch as you guys are traveling, you see a ship in the distance. It's coming your direction. Um, and you can either alternate to kind of move away from it, or you can uh, signal it and hail it and pull up alongside and exchange messages. You can, you can get close enough to signal because you have, do you have signal mm -hmm. as, a, as a language? Is it signal? What's it called? Signaling. Signaling? I have a one. You have a one in signaling? Does anybody have more than a one in signaling? Probably oh, no. the dead bow. I don't. No, actually, I specifically removed it. Mm -hmm. I only have one. So. Okay. Um, so you could signal them at a distance. Um, you could head towards them. You could... What does the what does the ship look like? You could have Karshaw have, open fire. Does it have, like, any of the, um... What are they called? The specific... Thing that makes a ship stand out as oh you're this kind of ship. Hmm. Um. It's motif. Uh. It doesn't seem to be any of those things. Okay. So it doesn't stand out as one thing right away. But if you look at page, yeah, this looks weird. No. If you look at page one seventy five, let's just say it basically looks like that. How strange. Oh my god. Do you think it's maybe? No, so it's got a bunch of circular saw blades up front to kind of help it move along, but then it's just, it's kind of a, it's not very big. Again, I want to, I want to reemphasize that. Yeah. Um, you've got eagle eyes, right? Don't you have like one of your little things? No, I have hawk sight. Hawk sight, same thing. Um, no, it's no. How, do you have hunt as a skill, yeah. Zoe? Hunt? Um, um, I do too. I got two and hunt. You want to try and spot something about this ship, Sean? Uh, do you want to, you want to try to... See what you can spot about this ship? Uh, sure. So that's... Well, check your edges first. What edges do you Um, iron instantides. Tide. Tides would be most of them. Tides and hunts, so that's three. Um, do you have any... Uh, do you have, do you have any uh, aspects that would give you an advantage for observing a, uh, the ship in the distance or anything like that, or knowing things about it. Nope. Okay, all right, go roll your three dice then. One, two, and four. Well, the four will get you something. One, two, and four, huh? Uh, everything that you can spot in on the, everybody that you see moving around the ship look like they're all Ectus. Ectus is the most- Cactus. The okay. uh, big dudes, generally, mostly big. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's all, it's, it looks like not a lot. Again, it's only like four or five people, but the ones you've been able to spot, it all seems like they're all like this. So maybe and this is definitely not the ship that we're looking for. No, no, definitely not. Do we need to do social interaction? I mean, if they're coming, they're coming from, are they like, they're coming, coming from, from the direction that we're going? It would be. Yeah. Ish. 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 30 degrees off. They're probably not coming directly like across from where you guys came from. The thing with the Hanging Manor is it wasn't on any major trade route. So, I mean, ships aren't just going to randomly be coming from there, but they might give you, they might have information for I'm you. I was wondering if, if it would be worthwhile to talk to them and see, if, ask if they've seen the ship. Do you want to try to get them to, you want to come up closer to them or you want to do it through signal? Well, at least signal and say like port, like request to port. Okay. Like request to, what's the word? Is it port? Dock. Dock. Quest to dock? Yeah, that's more of a space thing. Just pull up alongside or get, come close yeah. enough for... Yeah, there, there's probably a phrase for coming close enough to be able to shout from deck to deck. You know, that kind of a thing. Um, I think because it's a four, they're going to be a little bit on their guard. They've uh, they've got their reason to be a little bit paranoid, so you got a little bit of an uphill because battle Because they're here. a what? What's that? Because they're a what? Because Sorry. of his four. Oh, I see. Okay. They're a little bit paranoid about the whole thing. So I'm gonna have you roll. What what are you what's your edge that you're gonna go with? Um problem, so I have grace, instinct, and tides. Mm. 
Probably. Because I'm thinking grace, maybe? Yeah, elegance, precision, and agility. Elegance, maybe. Um, it's also instinct. I think intuition might be good since you know you can kind of put yourself in their shoes and, and go. They're probably going to be a little bit paranoid. Um, I think that either one of those would work depending on how you want to do it. So instinct and you, sway? No skill on this one. You're going to roll signal. Oh, I see. You're okay. using the actual language skill. So two. Yeah, roll, rolling a whopping two dice. Do you have anything? A whole two dice. Do you have anything in your in your uh, thing in your aspects that might give you a, a advantage in uh, this? Uh. Okay. All right. So you're rolling two. I'll steal some of your dice. Is that okay? Well, borrow, not steal. Prime is Oh God. Two and one. Oh God. My good God. So you. So I go. Fuck off. <laughs> We're attacking! You're... Okay. Board my boat! I am one of not the new... It's like, what you want to say is, can we come alongside and talk, and what you actually signal is, prepare to be boarded. Prepare to be boarded. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. And, uh... and I'm going to say, like, so she's up, like, kind of flying up ahead and kind of looking at this thing, and you're flashing, and she comes back down and lands on the ship and says, why are you telling them to prepare to be boarded? And you're like, no, 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 no. I was saying we wanted to come alongside and talk. No, you said prepare to be boarded. And you can see the other ship is coming around and heading, like, directly 90 degrees. Oh, like, shit. They're, they're absolutely, like, I mean, run, like, uh, they're, they're, they're doing the full sails run. Sorry. Just keep going. My why would I sit? Why would I be the one saying that? My well, you were up ahead, and you can speak. So you can you understand? Yeah, so but no. my signaling is worse than hers. No, you guys both have a one. Ours is the same. I'm doing it because it's funny for one of you to correct the other one and go, dude. You just seriously. Do you need me to send you more tokens? You need to like refresh your Duolingo, okay? Uh, yeah. So we can. Yeah, that's absolutely what happened. That's that's um. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Why did you tell them? Why did you tell them prepare to be boarded? That's this is one of those things where it's like you start to see the benefit of the languages because they can really get in your way, but they can also really help if you nail it. Yeah. Yeah. That's Why are you telling them prepare to be boarded? Yeah, I, I I'm just speaking to Anne. Look at these idiots. Look at these. Silly, silly uses. Why did you let them have you? I mean, to be fair, prepare to be boarded does say what you meant. It d does. I mean, it's the right. It's just very threatening. Yeah, yeah. It's like. Right, me. It's really more her. about nuance in the whole thing. Like, you just sort of instinctively, well, it's like, I remember this is one of those things that people use when the ships are going to close with each other. So I'm just going to do this one. I'm not going to check my little booklet that has, like, all the different flag semaphores. I'm just going to use this. This particular saying. This will go great. This will be fine. And then you afterwards, you're like, uh, oh, right. I was using the uh, bugger. Double check my translating. I'm going to go back. Wait, where's that notepad that I had that I'd written down all the flag? Oh, left, left, right, left. Not left, left, up, left. Not left, left, up, left, flip them off. Why would I have done that? That doesn't even make any sense. All right. Are we going to... Are we gonna stick with the same people? Uh, this is about half the days. This is about a half day's travel to to go through this first sort of phase here. Yeah. Ship the ship spotted is about the main thing. Um, the uh, you know after about an hour or two, the 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 docks and the obviously the spit have just receded and the, the horizon opens up. Um, the trail of torn up branches kind of reknitting themselves behind the ship as it goes. You guys don't do a lot of damage really. You are you you are. Mm -hmm. You're, you're not quiet right in amongst it because, again, it's that sound of, like, the branches kind of cracking and stuff under the feet of... There's of... a very specific scene. It's the sound, do you remember, in The Hobbit where Bilbo's looking above the trees and you kind of see in the distance, like, the trees shaking? Sure. That sound of the spiders coming towards them is kind of the sound that we make. I also think there's a lot of like branches cracking. Kind yeah, that, of. But if you, if you can picture the scene, yeah, yeah, mind, yeah. that's the, that's the sounds are the branches snapping and cracking and yeah. come towards you. Um, but that is, that tree is drops, tree tops pressing in around the hole, shifting in the wind. There's a lot of insects and birds flying around the ship, sort of in a predatory dance. The, the Fox, the spring foxes find you again. Well, I mean, we did. Your little friend, like, yips at them. Um, <laughs> Shop. Um, Shop. Do you think he goes out there and, like, plays with them? Probably. Okay. Uh, 
You come right back. I always like the fox sounds. Um, spores and leaves caught in passing gusts of wind. Uh, rustling leaves, birds calling, leaf pulp, the smell of bark. Occasionally that sharp chemical tinge when a pocket of creserin greenery gets churned up by the by one of the feet stepping on it and kind of bursting it. You catch at least at one point in time, Sean, like the very distinctive smell of the dung from pinwolves. Just rest my hand on, on yeah. the um... On the chain sword. And the spores in the wind have a particular taste on the tongue. I think you two are probably the only ones that are gonna pick up on that. Um <laughs> Un I don't have a tongue. Unpleasantly lively taste in the air when you get the spores. Um, the citrus tang of spline apples um, on the breeze. Amazing. And uh, at one point in time, the smell of ham. Ooh. Okay. Who has a barbecue going on? <laughs> Is Karshaw has produced, he's sitting on the deck and not really saying much, and has produced a sandwich from somewhere in his, like, satchel, and is, you know... It's it's some kind of porcine meat on a rye bread uh, sandwich, and he is um, having it, eating it. You know what? Good for you, King. You can imagine what that looks like when he's got a, a sack for a head. I he don't just think about unwraps it. it. I am purposely just lifts not up his neck and it. holds it there, and the swarm kind of comes out and just swims. No, no, no. He, he unwraps it and then wraps it back up. He's just He just he's sticks the sandwich up in his throat, just closes up, and it's just in there with... No, he... he Pops his head off, sticks it in his neck, pops it back on. Um, anyway. Your lab sack becomes very lively for a minute. It's very disturbing. Are we uh, proceeding in this? Who's first of all? Who's who's doing the navigating or the the who's who's got the helm for the second half of the day? All right, you know what? I'll do it. You right. you want to drive? Yeah. You want to drive? You who's on watch? Me? Take a break from flying. I'll look at so you're not you can you can blow yourself you can blow you can blow the thing you can also glide and I love the idea of like you guys having like a a, a winch on the on the deck that has let a relatively light rope on it you just grab that and then you put your wings out and you basically kite up into the air kite. so you can just reel yourself out. you don't have to fly you can just glide by hanging by having this rope around your belt or on your hand or something like that you basically can just go back up and stay on like a kite string yeah essentially up all right john are we full speed aheading or or proceeding still at a reasonable just steady pace i'm sort of doing it on muscle memory not like navigating navi being navigated like the mu i'm doing it off the muscle memory of i used to be a boat so i kind of know how this works yeah yeah the question is are you asking the ship to go fast or are you proceeding at a more reasonable pace reasonable. reasonable pace okay so we'll mark another one off on the progress and uh Kayla, you're on watch. Yeah. Do you want to force a discovery with whispers and charts, or do you want to do you want to roll and see how that goes? I, I put my elaborate. I I I have a thing. Okay. So I have a grove of twist grove of twisted trees and a many folded chart. Interesting. Which might be kind of sick. It would be kind of sick. Oh, hey, trees. Because I feel like a, go a grove of twisted trees would be really cool. The Whisper is a grove of is twisted trees? a grove of twisted trees. What's the, and the, the many-folded chart? A many-folded chart. Okay, so that would imply that the chart is, like, folded has seen, a, well, it's seen a lot of use. It's probably pretty familiar. Or passed down through many generations. Sure. So this might be since you guys you're from a gen, you're from a group of people that travel a bunch. So do you want this to be maybe like a way station kind of place? This twisted trees that is like a way station where where people come together, or is it more of a lost thing? Because if it's thinking... a, if it's a many folded chart, it feels like it'd be a thing that maybe many generations know about. Yeah, I was also thinking like it's a many folded chart because people like nobody knows exactly the area that it is overlapping with. So people are constantly checking to see that if the area that they're in is the place that is listed on this oh, I see. map. So it's kind of a thing of like, I would say like a fortune teller made this map at one point. And so people for generations have been looking for this this grove that is depicted on this map. And it's very likely that even though this area has been well traveled, that this new root quake has, you know, unearthed this grove. Mm hmm Ooh, I like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. I like the idea of it like having once been a thing. So 
what you've got, what you what you see in the distance. Now, so I want you to erase both of those, the whisper and the chart. Mm -hmm. Is there there is kind of a well, so you see that grove of trees. It's like this. Um, there, there, the branches of the trees are, that are in this grove, you can see as you're getting closer, are actually connected by chains. There have been chains that have been looped from branch to branch, from tree to tree, perfect for tangling up the bite of a chain-driven ship. Now they're old, so they've, they've they've been there for a long time, and they're you know rusted and damaged by um, Kreserin and weather and all this other kind of stuff but it was at some point in time it was they were hung up as a way of like defending this grove or making it difficult to get in closer to this thing but we are crab and we have no such problems. well you're it's not that you have no such problems but if you're you if you're, can still get the legs twisted in the chain yeah if you if you approach it um carefully it's not going to be you know a major you know thing but what you have here is why was this protected in the first place? And as you get, you can come in, you can figure out where there aren't chains and can negotiate where you're Now it is coming up towards nightfall and this may be, um, you're pretty sure this was meant to be a sort of a safe haven thing. And as near as you can tell, there is, there's birds around. There's not really any sign of, of major predators and stuff like that. So it may be a really good place where you guys can um, basically drop anchor yeah. and uh, pull up in here and see if there's anything where you can mm -hmm. explore this grove and see if there's any resources or anything you can find here. And we leave. So what we're going to do, we're going to pause right here and we'll begin with you guys in the grove or pulling grove into the grove, trees. the grove of twisted trees and seeing what you can find in here. There's also, it lets your GM go and look and see what the hell the rules are for like checking for resources and, and, and uh, salvaging and stuff like that, because there are, so yeah, this may be a really good place where you guys can uh, either harvest or scavenge in the area and see if you can figure, or just study and figure out if you can figure if you can learn more about this place. Um, but this will give you a place where you can lay anchor, can Karsha, <laughs> do watch while you guys take a nap, um, but also kind of explore the area and stuff like that. We will start there with the uh, with the with with the ship with the ship in a cool in a cool mm -hmm. spot. We end how we begin. With a bombastic slang. No, no, no. Here, I'll move you. Let's move our. Let's move ourselves over to a little bit more of an appropriate background here for this. How's no, no, no. that? No, no, no. We, we, we end. We, oh, we end how we. Um, we end how we began on a sea shanty. On a tree of shanty. course. Tree shanty. There once was a ship that put to tree. The name of the ship was the Bodie of Put to tree. The queen crabs are in. Turn up below my boy boy's boat. Oh. Queen crabs revenge. A man from the British <laughs> and one day when the time is done, they'll take a leave and go.